Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I have a very slightly different video for you. As you've probably seen from the title, it is a haul, but I only purchased three things. So what I thought I would do was not only show you what I bought, but I'm also going to show you how I style it in this video. So you can see what I bought and you can see how I would wear it. And these pieces are quite versatile, so I think this should be quite interesting because there's probably going to be, be a few different ways that I can wear these items. Items. Just a quick little note, I do have to leave the window open for filming today because it is absolutely sweltering. If you don't know already, the United Kingdom as a whole, I think, is just having this massive heat wave at the moment and none of us really know how to cope with it because we're not used to it. It's absolutely glorious, but I do have to keep this window open, otherwise I'm going to sweat to death. Okay, so for the first item, first of all, all these pieces are from Mango, so just keep that in mind because I won't be going through them. They're all from Mango. So the first item is this gorgeous button-down shirt. Now, this piece is the only piece that was not in the sale, so I bought this full price. Um, I absolutely love this. It is quite thick um, for, it's a linen shirt, I believe, um, and it's from their suit range, but it is a lot thicker than a normal button down shirt so do keep that in mind and I'll come back to that in a little minute um so there are buttons the whole way down I haven't actually done them all the way up but there are buttons all the way down and obviously this is long sleeved and it ends kind of on my hips it's not too long and it's not too short it's kind of perfect um now obviously this is to be worn as a button down shirt but what I was thinking um, would be quite good and again like I said earlier these pieces are quite versatile I was planning on kind of wearing this as an almost light jacket um, I think it would be really fantastic for like evenings out especially now the weather's like this when it gets a little bit cooler in the evening um, it's going to be great going into autumn as well when the days get a little bit colder but it's still sunny especially for August and stuff like that coming up soon um, so that's kind of what I had in mind for this obviously you can wear it as a button down it look great tucked in and um, it's going to look great tucked into my H&M linen trousers which I've actually got on at the moment please be quiet so yeah so this would look great tucked into lots of things and I'm really excited to tuck it into jeans as well because I think the like beige khaki colour next to the blue will really really bring it out um, but like I said, as it's quite thick, or th it's not thick, but it's thicker than your average button-down shirt. So in this weather at the moment, a long sleeve button-down isn't particularly what I want to wear because it is just a little bit too hot. So I would be wearing this as a nice evening jacket. And this is from their suit range, so really you could wear it as a jacket, I believe. Um, so this was actually, I think... Um, none of these have the prices on which is so annoying but I bought this in their UK size 8 and it fits perfectly and I want to say it was £45.99 but do go check in the description box because everything will be linked and you can go and shop everything that's going to be in this video straight down in the links below and that will give you all the prices too. Okay guys, so this is the slightly thicker linen button down shirt and like I mentioned I have decided to style this as a jacket. Um, I've put it over my Zara jumpsuit that I absolutely love, I'm so in love with this jumpsuit. And yeah, I think it really works, it's like a boxy kind of shirt jacket. It's, it's thin enough to still keep you cool so it'll be great for this type of weather in the evenings, if you're going out for dinner, stuff like that. If you want to put a jacket on but you don't want to look too smart, this is going to be great. Um, so yeah, this is how I've styled it. I'll come a bit closer so you can see. I love the pockets on the front and obviously you could do it up. You could put, I've, I've tried it on as a shirt as well and it does look really, really nice. Um, I'll do it that way so you can see what the buns would look like. It does look lovely. It looks really, really great tucked in. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how I will probably be styling this from now on. I think I'm definitely going to keep it as a light jacket option. And I think it just looks really cool. Okay, the next two pieces that I'm going to show you are both from the Mango sale and I managed to get an absolute bargain. Again, I can't always remember what the original price was, so do go check on the links, but I do remember the sale price because they blew me away. Uh, first up is, and actually, another thing I've noticed is these are all button-down shirts, which is very unlike me, I have to say, because I do not wear button-down shirts. And I don't know what came over me when I was shopping on Mango and when I did this order, but I've managed to order three. So, 
I don't know why, but they just stood out to me. So the next one is actually, oh, this is probably my favourite piece I ordered actually, and I'm so excited to show you how I'm going to style this. Um, it's quite different for me, it's this gorgeous, sort of like a navy blue satin button down shirt, but I'm going to be wearing this as a dress. Now if you guys have followed me for quite some time, you will know that I love wearing shirts as dresses, and normally I have to get men's shirts particularly the Ralph Lauren men's shirts um, in like a sort of medium to small size so that I can wear them as a dress. Now this is from the women's section on Mango and it is very long. Now I did get this in a size 10 because on the website it's described as a shirt and on the model it is worn as a shirt so I thought that it would be more of a shirt length but honestly this is a size 10 and it almost goes down to just above my knees so if you were looking to get this to solely wear as a shirt I would either I would probably size down actually because I honestly could have gone with um, a size smaller than this I needn't have gone for a medium after all but I'm not fast that I went for a medium I'm not upset that I went for a medium because it's actually perfect for a dress now because I don't have to wear shorts underneath so it's all worked out in the end but just thought I would let you know that because if you are buying it to solely wear it as a shirt you may want to size down or stick with the same size if you don't mind tucking lots of excess material in but yes it is this gorgeous satin material the color is stunning i never wear anything this color you guys know me i love white i love beige i love khaki i love colors um i love mustard yellow oranges but i very very rarely wear black or anything dark anything less than a purple i'm not really gonna wear so this is a little bit different for me but this color just really stood out to me and as you can see it does come down quite a way it has got two small slits at either side and the back is ever so slightly longer, which you will see in the cutaways. Um, I'm so excited to wear this. I can't wait. The, the reason why I mainly bought this was to wear it with my new um, knee-high boots that I got from Zara. Which I don't think I've shown you guys yet. No, I don't think I have. So you will be seeing them in this video. And they will also be on the blog coming up, hopefully, this Friday as well. So do keep your eye out for that. Um, that's why I'm most excited to wear these with. But again, they would look great over a pair of jeans untucked. I really want to get into dresses over jeans again. I keep seeing it on the runways. They're really going for it next season. So do keep an eye out for doing that. I know it's very naughty. It's like back in 2002, I remember doing dresses over jeans like nearly every school disco. But I think there's going to be a more cool and casual way to do it in the upcoming months so this would be great for that too and obviously you can just wear it as a shirt with a pair of jeans or a pair of trousers oh just quickly on the price so this was i want to say it was originally 39.99 but again just go check the link because i can't remember but i know that in the sale i got it for 19.99 which i believe is an absolute bargain okay guys so this is the shirt dress and i am absolutely in love with this i think it is really gorgeous i love the satin material the way it flows as i move it's so pretty um i love that the back is a little bit longer i hope you can see that sorry i know like my filming situation for outfits isn't that great at the moment but it's just too dark in the living room because i have to keep the blinds down for the sun and whatever anyway <laughs> um so yeah absolutely love this it's shorter at the front so it shows a little bit more leg at the front which i quite like and then it's a little bit longer at the back um i've actually paired these with my new zara heels these are the ones that you would have seen in my last haul with the little crisscross and studs and yeah absolutely love that i'll just come for a little bit of a close-up so you can see how it it just moves so beautifully and i just think it, it almost looks like it's just really like understated sexy kind of vibes like i'm not really i haven't really got anything on show i haven't got my chest out my arms are covered i mean you could obviously roll the sleeves up that would look really cool as well but just having my legs on show it just makes it look really really effortless so love it and i think this would be a great day look as well because honestly this satin shirt paired with some chunky nike trainers like my air force ones I would roll the sleeves up to make it a bit more casual, throw my hair up in a ponytail, and it would look like a satin sort of tennis dress. So I really think this is going to be super versatile. Obviously, you can tuck it in, but like I said, there is a lot of excess material 
So if you do want to wear this as a shirt, I would definitely size down because as you can see, it is kind of made to be a dress at the same time. So yeah, absolutely love this. It's definitely my favourite piece and I will get so much wear out of this. I'm really excited. Okay, and last but not least is another sale piece. It's something that you've probably seen me in quite a few times, but this particular piece has a few little details that are different about it, which stood out to me. So it's this gorgeous linen shirt. Again, another button down, but once the buttons are done up on this one, it does have a panel covering the buttons. So if you didn't like the buttons on show, then this would be a great option for you. And um, the reason why I mainly went with this shirt is because of the sleeves. I absolutely love the fact that they've got almost like a band going around the wrist. And when it's on, you'll see in a minute, it really looks like the wrists are tightened and it just gives a really, really fettering um, edge to the sleeve, I think. I also love the boat neck detail. I don't have a lot of tops that come down in this boat neck shape. I either wear V-necks or high necks. I do wear scoop tops, but they're like more of a scoop. This is more like a elongated boat neck. So I really, really like that. It's a little bit different for me. And again, the boxy fit, and of course this is linen. Now, if you've been on my blog, rayofstyle.co.uk lately, you would have seen that I did a whole blog post on living in linen. And two of these pieces are linen. So absolutely loving it still. My ironing board is not loving it because the amount of ironing I now have to do has definitely doubled. Um, but they're so cool and breezy in this weather and you just can get away with them and it just makes it a lot easier to dress. So this will be really fantastic again. And also on the website, it was styled as a jacket as well. So you could always use it as just like a throw on in the evenings again. But this one is a lot thinner than the previous shirt that I showed you. Now, originally, I think this was priced at between £25 and £30, but I know that I got it for £15.99 in the sale. Okay, guys, so this is the linen blouse, and I really, really like it. I've paired it with my Urban Outfitters wide leg long trousers, and I think these two pair really, really well together. I think, actually, I could have put... Um, I have a tan belt as well, which I think would look really, really nice with this. So mainly with the shirt, what I love about it is I love this neckline. I think it'll be great for layering necklaces um, and it just really shows them off really nicely. And I love the sleeve detail with like these bands around the wrist. Um, I think they're really, really cool and they're just buttoned up on the other side. I also love how the sleeves kind of puff out a little bit. This blouse actually really reminds me of um, this season's Louis Vuitton. So if you're trying to recreate any of those looks, then this blouse is a really good one because it really reminds me of the ones that they paired with the shorts. Um, so yeah, absolutely love this. I think it was a steal at 15 99 to be honest, and I can see myself wearing this a lot. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Do let me know if you did by giving the video a like. It really helps me out and it lets me know what kind of videos you're into and what ones you're not so into. Do let me know if you like this style of haul as well because if I ever do little hauls like this, sometimes I don't do big hauls and sometimes I just get a couple of pieces here and there. It would be great to know if you enjoyed the fact that even though the haul itself was small, you enjoyed seeing how I styled the pieces. That would be really interesting to know. So don't forget to give this video a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already to see more from me. And do go check out my blog, rayofstyle.co.uk, for more every Friday. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.